Okay, so we're going to start our um, drawing project, our up close and personal, where we've taken 12 images, okay, 12 pictures of the same object and zoomed in um, to different parts of it, okay? And so what we're going to do today um, is we are going to, this is a 9 by 12 piece of paper, we're going to need to um, section this out so we have 12 boxes, okay? So we're going to put our ruler at the top. The ruler doesn't start right at zero. It starts at zero right here. And so you're going to need to make sure that's on the paper. And then we're going to make some little hash marks at three and at six. Okay. We can't just take this and guess and make a line down here. We need to flip this over and do the same thing on this side. Okay. To where you have it on the zero and the nine. You would mark a little bit at three and a little bit at nine. So then you have two hash marks that you can line up. Okay, so you would see both of them above the ruler and then you would be able to draw your line across this. Okay, this is a very light line. This is not a dark one. Don't push really, really hard. Okay, and then line both of those hash marks up. and connect. Okay, again, we're going to do this on the other side. So this should be 12. Make sure it's at 0 and at 12. And then you're going to mark at 3 and at 6 and at 9. Okay, and then the same thing down at the bottom. We're going to mark at 3, 6, and 9. And I'm going to do that up on the paper, not on the edge. Okay, three, six, and nine. So then I'll connect those from the top. You should see a hash mark and a hash mark over here and connect them. So pretty simple. So these should be three by three boxes. Um, and I made this nine by 12 paper because it makes it easier. Okay, to measure this, you don't have to mess with lots of funny measurements. Okay, so those are connected. Okay, so right now I have a grid on here. It might be a little hard to see, but it's light, so then I can draw on this. Um, for virtual work tomorrow, what you are doing is you are picking three of these and you are sketching three of them, okay? Only lines, no values, just to make sure that you have the drawing right, okay? Um, if you're starting this, it is important that these are squares. Um, printing this out um, actually makes things easier for you. It flattens things, okay? It makes things 2D instead of looking at something that's 3D, okay? And trying to convert it in your head to something that's 2D, okay? So it's easier to draw from a picture, um, and so that's why we printed it, okay? Um, but when I talk about I just want a drawing from this, you want to um, think about the lines that you see, okay, and get those, like, put in here, okay? And so what you also need to do, let me cover up a section of this, is look at the negative space. You're not only drawing the positive space, but you're drawing the negative space as well. So you should be able to draw this section where you pretend like you were drawing this shape. Okay, let me zoom in. Okay, so if I were drawing the glasses here, I would be pretending, okay, to draw this negative shape right here. Okay, so that, that's what I mean where I'm thinking, okay, if I'm drawing this piece, it's, I mean, it's like a pointy triangle here, but I should have enough of a space down here. Okay, and I'm trying to figure out if I was even drawing from this part. This is, where is this in relationship to the square? Okay, it's not right in the center. It's above. Okay, and so you're kind of looking at this and thinking about where does that piece go? Or where is that, where is that piece? Okay, so you're trying to make something that looks like that. Okay, so we're just getting the line drawing in there. Um, 
we're not worrying about anything else, but drawing the negative space can sometimes help when you do that. Um, if this is not a perfect square, but you're trying to enlarge it to a perfect square, that could be difficult too, because you're kind of stretching and distorting it, okay, to get it to like fit to the places that are on there. Um, but you just want to get a rough idea of what you see okay, on this, and you're thinking, well, this part, make comparisons to it as you draw. Um, like the nose piece here is, if you were to look at it here, is below the lenses. So you're trying to think about what am I, what's right, what's not right. Maybe this actually needs to be higher. Think about the distance, like right here. How big is that? Okay, it's probably not all the way down to there. It's probably closer to where I have this. And so you just have to, drawing is all about making comparisons, relationships between different lines. Okay, and looking at that. And so same thing with this lens. Um, and really I do have like a shadow underneath here. Um, but this is what you're going to do for tomorrow. We're just going to make sure that you have um, the lines drawn in for three of these. Okay. And then it's okay. This is drawn as lightly as I could. Okay. To try and make this piece on this. But I want to make sure that the drawings are right before you move on to the shading. Okay. Like, I want to help you if you say, gosh, I can't get this right. Like, why is this wrong? Then I will help you get there before you actually go and put all the value on there. Okay, It's a lot easier to erase a really light line right here than it is to erase something that's completely shaded in. Okay, so that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, 